Hey guys, it's Matt here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Google Home for 2018. So let's go on into it. Okay, so basically for you guys who aren't familiar with this, this is a smart hub, it sits inside of your home, on your table, in some room in your house, and you basically talk to it and it helps you out. So it, you can ask it the store opening times, you can ask it weather, directions, to play music, set alarms, stuff like that. This is the regular Google Home, so it has a removable base with three speakers in there. So this is one of the best sounding ones other than the new Google Max. So if you want something reasonably good quality, that's your choice. If you want something a little bit less and for a little bit less price, then the Google Home Mini is also a great option. So this one's priced around $49 over the $129 for the Google Home. And it comes in coral, chalk, as well as slate. So you do have a few color options here. On the main Google Home, you actually are gonna have to pay $20 for a different colored base, which I think is kind of crazy because you can almost pick up one of these Google Home Minis for that. But I would definitely recommend the Google Home Mini over the regular Google Home if you have a lot of rooms in your house and you wanna put them in different rooms. So one in your kitchen, one in your bedroom, in your living room, Google Home Mini is definitely the way to go. Now in terms of controlling the regular Google Home, you can simply swipe on the top counterclockwise or clockwise and that will turn the volume up and down. You can also tap to play pause music and you can hold down if you don't want to say the trigger word. But it's pretty simple, there's really not any buttons on it, it's just sort of a big air freshener sort of looking device that sits on your desk and it's quite minimalistic actually, I quite like it. And turning it around to the back, you have a Google logo, there's a small hole, which I, I have no clue what that's for, and you also have a button which mutes the microphone, so in case you want a little bit of privacy, you can turn that on. Now things are a little bit different on the Google Home Mini because you don't really have a lot to work with, so you tap either side, so left to go volume down, right to go volume up, you hold down on either side and that will play and pause. In terms of powering, the Google Home Mini uses micro USB and it also has a mute toggle switch rather than a button. Personally, this is a little bit better, it allows you to plug in power banks and stuff like that, whereas the full-size Google Home uses this kind of strange connector, and I'm not really familiar with it. But side by side, you can see there is quite a bit of difference in terms of size. The actual material of the bottom section kind of looks about the same, but it's roughly around three or four of Google Home Mini stacked up. Uh, but it does sound a lot better in terms of sound quality, so if you really do want to listen to music, using this, then I would definitely recommend the regular Google Home or the Google Home Max if you're ready to dish out that money. Uh, but the Google Home Mini is good for stuff like controlling your smart home equipment, as well as just listening to news and asking the weather, stuff like that. Something else I think is really cool is you can actually go ahead and pick up a Chromecast audio and you can link that up to the Google Home Mini and actually play the Google response through your surround sound system or through your speakers or whatever you like. Now in terms of how you control these devices, you use the Google Home app and it's pretty simple to use. You open it and it comes up with all your devices on your network, so your Chromecast, your Google Home Mini, your regular Google Home, and you can pretty much configure them all in here and it will also give you recommendations on what to ask it to do. So now I'm just going to do a little sample of asking the Google Home some questions and you'll hear the response. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Manchester? The temperature there is currently 4 degrees Celsius. Hey Google, play thunderstorm noises. Here's the sound of a thunderstorm. Hey Google, stop. Hey Google, what noise does a monkey make? A monkey sounds like this. <coughs> hey Google, tell me a fact. According to Wikipedia, Brazil is the largest producer of coffee. Hey Google. Turn on the bedroom lights. Okay, turning bed one on. So it is really useful and I honestly do really like it in my house. I like it on my desk in my bedroom and it's really cool to turn on and off the lights just to ask it to set alarms and it overall just makes things a lot easier, especially with the new update in 2018, which now allows you to ask two questions at once. Now, if you don't want to pick this up right now and you're not too fussed on getting it at this moment, definitely wait around. There's a lot of sales and I can guarantee that the price will drop quite significantly at some point in time this year. But anyway, guys, I think this is definitely a really useful thing to have. It's definitely just fun to play with as well. If you're into that sort of techie lifestyle, then definitely go ahead and pick one of these up. You won't regret it. But there's going to be some updates in 2018. Recently, there's been an update which allows you to ask multiple commands at once. So you can ask it two things and it will actually do both those things as well. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait to see what Google have next for us. And that is my take on the Google Home for 2018. So I would definitely recommend it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Peace out, guys.